Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today we're looking at the Anker PowerCore 3 Elite 26K or 2500 um, portable battery bank. Now I say that because the name actually 2500 or 26K is the same product, um, but it's sometimes referred to differently on various websites. So just bear that in mind, you're buying the same thing. This is a high capacity battery charger, 26,000 milliamp hours of capacity. And most importantly, it can charge your devices via USB-C at 60 watts. Why is that important? Well, if you wanna charge something like this Dell XPS laptop, you're gonna need at least 60 watts in order to charge it. And even then it'll be in slow charging mode. That's not a bad thing. It's actually very good for what's available on the market. Um, but that is why this charger is a bit more expensive and also very big and heavy. Because if you're gonna be charging a device like a laptop, you certainly need the capacity to go alongside it. So what do you get for your money? First off, you obviously get the charger, which is pretty big and heavy. Looks quite nice, bit of a fingerprint magnet. You have brushed black aluminium on the front and a nice soft touch rubber on the back. Both of them fingerprint magnets though. Um, then you also receive a, a little carrying case, just like so, uh, quite nice suede effect, um, which is a lot nicer than the other anchor ones I've seen, um, but that's pretty much it. You can also get this in a kit with a 60 watt, no, 65 watt um, charger from Anker. That kit costs 130 pounds. This charger by itself retails at 85 pounds and it's currently available on Amazon for 63 pounds or so. So there's a big price disparity. Personally, at the moment, I would definitely buy the version without the charger for 63 pounds because I think that is a great deal. But if you do need a decent uh, wall plug to charge this quickly, then the one with the charger isn't a bad choice, but I would double check to make sure you can't buy them separately for cheaper. The high capacity of this, of this power bank is something you need to keep in mind when you're charging it because it's gonna take a while. If you're using a standard 10 watt phone charger, it's gonna take more than overnight to just charge this fully from completely empty. If you're using something like that 65 watt charger that I was talking about, it will charge it in three hours. So that is the benefit. One thing I should have mentioned when I was talking about the looks of it is it is very solid. Um, it does feel hollow in parts, but it feels very solid and heavy. This weighs 560 grams. This is not something you're gonna chuck in your pocket to charge up your phone whilst you're out and about. This is really designed to charge bigger, heavier devices. So laptops, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, etc. cetera. Um, this really will charge all of those devices really well. And to do that, it has three ports at the front. So you have USB-C, uh, which is both an input and output. So it's what you use to charge this charger with, plus it's what you use to charge other devices such as your laptop with. And then you have two USB-A ports. Now the two USB-A ports are limited to 18 watts between them. So maximum output is 18 watts. Whereas as mentioned, the USB-C port will handle up to 60 watts. The maximum output between everything, according to the manual is 78 watts. Now you do have a power button at the front. You press the button, you can start charging if it hasn't done so automatically, and you can also see the current um, charge state of the battery. It has 10 LEDs, 10% each, thus you can track it quite closely. One feature of the power button is if you press it twice quickly, you get a green LED at the top. Now the green LED indicates slow charging mode. What this means is if you're charging a device such as a pair of older headphones that charge by micro USB that doesn't pull a huge amount of current, it will keep the battery charger awake despite the fact that it's a device that isn't pulling much current. The reason that's important is with some of those older headphones or other devices, it doesn't draw enough to keep the charger active because that's how it knows whether to stay switched on or not, whether it's uh, where the current's being pulled from it. So activating the slow charging mode by pressing in the power button twice will keep the device active for a number of hours so you can totally charge those other devices. If you want to deactivate it, it will either do so automatically or you just press the button in. It is super handy because if you have one of those devices that weren't normally charged via a power bank, this one will do it. If you're charging the device, you can only do it via USB-C as I mentioned, and you have to do it from a wall plug, for instance, a phone charger or a high capacity charger. I quite like using the one that came with my Dell XPS because it's much quicker. Um, this will charge and the battery LEDs will flash whilst it's charging. And then once it's full up, they will, they will go out and you'll know it's fully charged because if you unplug it and press it in, all 10 LEDs will be lit. The two, um, 
USB-A ports are pretty standard. You can plug in any cable you want and charge the device. You can charge all three devices concurrently, which is great. Um, but obviously the main reason you'd look at this, I think, is for the USB-C 60 watt charging. Otherwise, there's many other options out there. 60 watt charging sounds like a lot, but actually many devices nowadays have chargers that are a lot more powerful than that. The result is that in certain situations, your device will tell you that it's in slow charging mode because this simply cannot provide the current provided. That is an issue I have with my Dell XPS. When I plug it in with this, it says it's in slow charging mode and it will continue to charge but at a much slower rate than you'd get if you had to plug this in with the charger that came with it. The charger is about 100 watt charge usually, obviously it's 40 watts more than this. I don't actually think that that's a major issue because at the end of the day, you just want this to extend the battery life of your device and hopefully not charge it every day completely. The reason I got this is I don't like carrying around a wall plug. I work mostly remotely, so having to plug it in uh, every time I go into the office and remove it from my office here is just too much hassle. Um, so something like this is very convenient. I can leave it in my bag, and if I need to top up the charger, uh, top up the laptop whilst I'm about uh, uh, out and about, I can use this charger. There is a slight caveat I want to make you aware of, which is if you're using your laptop or whichever device you've hooked it up in a very rigorous way. For instance, say I have this hooked up to an external monitor, I'm using the graphics card in it, and I'm editing video. There are situations where even when plugged into this charger, you will actually see the battery capacity decrease as you're using it, despite it being plugged in. That's simply a nature of the laptops using more power than the charger can provide. You're gonna lose capacity, but at a much, much reduced rate versus not having it plugged in. Hopefully, you aren't using your laptop like that the entire time, um, so you're not gonna deplete the battery that quickly. Um, if you are, I'd strongly suggest you, you use a wall, a wall plug charger because that's not what this is designed for. So in terms of capacity I'm getting from this, I will actually be able to charge this laptop up to about 70, 80% from zero, which is more than enough using this um, Anker charger. Now do bear in mind, if you don't have the device off or in like almost zero power mode, you're not gonna see it charge all the way because if you plug it in at zero, you know, start charging it and then you're using it, obviously you're gonna be using some of that capacity as you go. But the point is here, you will massively extend it. I always find, make sure the device is charged to 100%, use this to top up, it's a perfect solution. Overall, it is a good charger. Yes, it is expensive at 85 pound retail and even at 63, but given the higher capacity it can charge at, it's very good. There are competitors out there that are cheaper, and some even that say they provide higher capacity charging. My issue is the majority of those brands are not ones I trust, and if I'm plugging it into an expensive laptop, do you necessarily want something you don't know whether or not it will be able to actually charge the device without you know, blowing up or itself blowing up? So you know, at the end of the day, these are, there's a lot of lithium ion cells in here. They're no joke if they go wrong, so I do prefer to use brands I trust, and I do trust Anker. There are other options out there though, is my point. You can look and there are even reputable brands that do equally um, good charges, but this is the one I decided to pick on price and performance and what it could do. So if you have any questions about this power bank, um, pop them in the comment section. Generally, I've been very pleased. I've had it a couple of months and I haven't had any issues. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up if it helped you. And if you haven't already, please do make sure you subscribe as it really does help me out. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.